guys, Avon from Avon Cakes here. Today I'm going to show you how to ice a cake with a level top and straight sides. First, you're going to need your icing. This is a Swiss meringue buttercream. You can use American buttercream. You can use ganache. Any of those will work with this technique. Packing tape. An acrylic base. This is just a beat up one I have. Uh, it's very important that it is very smooth on the top. I'll show you why later. You can also use masonite. The only thing about masonite is that if you get too much buttercream on the surface, it is a porous surface and it's the perfect place for bacteria to grow, so be careful with that. Next, you will need your dough knife. It needs to have a 90 degree angle when it sits. So you don't want anything that comes over the edges, the handle, you want it to be able to sit at a 90 degree angle. Spatula. I always like a nice offset spatula. And then our secret tool. If you follow my blog, you may have seen this before. It's actually a sewing gauge with a needle connected. It goes up and down. And then we have these blocks on the bottom to keep it at a nice secure angle. It's a nice little foot. So you have that 90 degree angle at all times. Alright, I've got my cake crumb coated already. Next I'm going to show you what to do. Alright guys, take your packing tape. Make a loop. You can also use double-sided sticky tape if you have that. Attach your board to your turntable. Nice and secure. Next, you don't always have to use packing tape. Um, to connect your cake if it's a heavier or larger cake, but when it comes to the smaller tiers, I always like to have it underneath so it doesn't dance around right in the middle there. Now we're going to use our baseboard. You'll notice when I crumb coated this that there's actually a little bit of space between the cake and the board underneath. That is really necessary, so if you need to actually trim your cake down, please do that and try to keep, after crumb coating your cake, try to keep that line still behind this baseboard because this baseboard we're going to use to guide our icing. Alright. So first, put a big old blob of buttercream on there. You're going to just work it around. You'll probably put too much on there, that's just fine better than having to keep adding. And what I'm doing here is I'm keeping my spatula in one place and I'm moving the turntable. It's very important to get a nice level top. If you can get a nice level top this way, save you a headache in the end. So keep your spatula level. Okay, now come down to eye level, look at it, spin, it's looking real nice and level. It's not always going to be perfect and you'll see after this next step that it's not perfect, but it's a great starting point. Okay, next we're going to work around that edge, trying not to get any bubbles stuck underneath our icing. Okay. And we want to put quite a bit around the sides of our cakes because we're just going to pull it off anyway, so the more the better. And you also want to make sure you're getting up past this top line, so you want a lip to grow over that top edge there. Let's see how we're doing by swiping it once. Take your dough knife and rest it. 
So it's always at that 90 degree angle. So you're never going like this, you're never going like this. And you're going to find your board. You're going to glide across your board using your board as the guide. Makes a lovely noise. Okay, and I'm going to go back, fill in any spots. Now, if your cake actually went over this, the edge of the cardboard, when you did this, you would see cake poking through, and you definitely don't want that. You want to have a nice, thick amount of buttercream gives your fondant a solid foundation. Or if you're just buttercreaming the cake, this also works. It is clean. Okay, so for a crumb coat underneath buttercream, this would be okay for me. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to put this baby in the fridge for about 5 to 10 minutes. Let it get nice and cold, but not too cold. Alright, see you in a second. Okay, alright, so now our cake is all chilled. You can tell as I touch the top. It's fairly solid. We're going to take our magical tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this needle down to the very top of the center here. Not of the top, obviously, of the lip, but of the top of the center. Now, if your cake is very level on the top, you should have no problems with getting this solid, straight line. However, if your cake turned out not so level, you can also work with that. And you just we'll go back and fill in all the little gaps. So we're bringing this needle mark down so it is level with our cake. You just want it to sit right on the top. You don't want it to go inside, you want it to sit on the top. Now you're gonna hold this tool in place while you move your baseboard around. All right, now with my gloves, I'm just going to pull these pieces right up. This is why it needs to be cold. And I always put these pieces into a separate container. You don't want to put this back into your fresh buttercream or else you'll have lumps. So be careful with that. I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Since it's nice and cold, we don't have to worry too much about messing up this icing. Then we're just going to clean it up. Now if it wasn't level at this point, you would go back and you would fill in the little divots that you have. All right. Here's your perfectly level, perfectly straight-sided cake. I guess I'm going to show you a few other tricks you can do with this awesome tool. So now if you are putting any horizontal lines on your cake or you just need a solid horizontal line that's level, you can use this as a guide. You just let it rest. And you have a perfect horizontal line to guide any of your stripes, your ruffles, anything else decor you would like to use. That also works very nicely on fondant. It 
also works very well as a cake level. So, use your needle to guide your mark. And you have a solid mark to then use as your guide for cutting. Perfectly level. Thanks guys, see you next time.